Professor Shamshul Huck belonged to the Bihari, Syed Malik clan. They are the descendants of Syed Ibrahim Malik Bey of Bihar, a legendary Sufi saint warrior who arrived in South Bihar in the 14th century having migrated from Baghdad. He served the Sultanate ruling the region as a renowned general, and established the rule of Bihar and the Malik clan. The Malik clan are Syeds, a term used to describe direct descendants of Imam Hassan, a grandson of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The descendants of the Malik clan include the Sufi saint Shafra Fud in Munir, a renowned religious figure. In Bihar, Syeds were mainly landlords, judges, barristers, intellectuals, civil servants and teachers. Professor Shamshul Huck was born in 1902 in Patna, the ancient city that sprawls along the south bank of the Ganges River in Bihar, northeast India. He grew up during the early occupation of the British Empire's rule of India. The rule of the British crown on the Indian subcontinent is also called crown or direct rule in India, and lasted from 1858 to 1947. The period ushered in the industrial age, and had the effect of closely intertwining the economies of India and Great Britain. Many of the major changes in communications and transport for railways, roads, canals, and bridges were built in India. It was rapidly established, so that raw materials, such as cotton, from India's hinterland could be transported more efficiently to Indian ports, for subsequent export to England. The British rule saw violent uprisings in the Punjab region amongst the Sikh populations and sectarian violence between the Muslim and Hindu communities in Bihar. The strategic policy of divide and rule caused deep-rooted animosity between communities many of which last to this present day. Shamshul Huck was a budding journalist at the time and worked for a publication that depicted the troubles of British rule called Azad, which means freedom. He reported on the hardships endured by poor communities being exploited by imperial rule. He eventually became the editor of the publication and concentrated on highlighting the injustice of imperial rule. The publication was seen as provoking local uprisings by the British rulers and Shamshul Huck was subsequently imprisoned for refusing to adopt a more conciliatory editorial policy. During his incarceration, he was held with the iconic Mahatma Gandhi, the anti-colonial nationalist and political ethicist. He employed non-violent resistance to lead the successful campaign for India's independence from British rule. Their time together had a profound effect on Shamshul Huck where he recognized that educating the poor would be the only way to establish a middle class in India, and help the young children escape poverty by developing local economies. Upon his release, he began teaching the young children in his local village free and led classroom sessions by roadside candlelight because of the lack of electricity. He lost his beloved wife Bandy to a brief illness, leaving him to raise five young children whilst not relenting on his commitment to educating the poor children of his village. Known as Master G, a term of endearment for senior educators, he was nominated by his local community to serve as a magistrate resolving local disputes and establishing law and order without having to turn to the tyrannical legal system instilled by British Empire rule. His eldest son Sami went to serve in the Indian Air Force during World War II and won medals for his service during the war. Shamshul Huck began lecturing Islamic studies at the Aligarh University of India, writing a series of papers on the philosophy of Islamic values, and eventually publishing his first book on the philosophy of Islam. His tenure was cut short by the violence and bloodshed as a result of the British Empire's rule ending and the plans to divide India along sectarian lines. This brought violent bloodshed between Muslim and Hindu factions. Violent clashes and riots occurred in Bihar, from 24 October to the 11th of November 1946, in which Hindu mobs targeted Muslim families. It was during this time that Shamshul Huck's sister was violently slain as she slept. Her once loyal Hindu bodyguard, incensed by the uprising and killings, committed the brutal act. The riots were triggered by the Great Calcutta killings, as well as the Nokali riots earlier that year. Mahatma Gandhi declared that he would fast unto death if the riots did not stop. 
After direct British rule of India ended and the empire dissipated in 1947, the partition of India divided into two independent dominions, India and Pakistan. The partition displaced 10 and 20 million people along religious lines, creating overwhelming calamity in the newly constituted dominions. It is often described as one of the largest refugee crises in history. There was large-scale violence, with estimates of the loss of life of over one million. The violent nature of the partition created an atmosphere of hostility and suspicion between India and Pakistan that affects their relationship to this day. Shamshul Huck fled with his young children amidst the violence between the uprisings of Hindu and Muslim factions and sought refuge in the newly formed nation of Pakistan. Many of the Bihari communities settled in Karachi. Upon settling his young family, he assisted in establishing local education institutions. Having seen how educating the young can shape local communities, he ran his classes for young, poor children. During this time the National Educational Society established the school as the National College, with Professor Hassan Adil, Professor Malik, and Professor Hosnain Cosmi. They enlisted the services of Professor Shamshul Huck to form the first University College of Pakistan. Already known as a renowned Islamic scholar and master of philosophy, he assisted to get the land for educational purposes from government. The school was previously established in the home of Professor Hassan Adil in Karachi. All the founding members waived their salaries in the interest of establishing the school for the benefit of the local community. Professor Hassan Adil served as the first head from March 1956 to March 1973. After a pilgrimage to Mecca, Professor Shamshul Huck came to the United Kingdom and lived there until his death in 1987. During his final years, he began writing lessons in the Holy Quran, the culmination of his journey through life and Islam. He studied all three Abrahamic faiths and reflected on the concepts and philosophical meaning behind them. The purpose of his study was to understand the prescribed Islamic doctrine in the wider context of exploring the meaning of life and the hereafter. In essence, through his interpretation of Holy Scripture and his concepts of social comparative study, he considered that the gift of life had been given by our Creator with guidance provided by the Holy Prophets, peace be upon them. Essentially, through divine revelation we learn how to develop a sublime human character that will serve our celestial being in the hereafter. His life was inspired by Islamic principles of justice, integrity and serving fellow mankind.